Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be getting into a three look sun palette and I know you guys love these. We're going to be doing our three looks using our little grungy spooky dream, the Nocturnal palette from Glaminatrix. So I've already done my first impressions which should be already up on my channel and this is the palette. This is the gorgeous colour so I'm going to turn it so you can hopefully get some of those shifty goodness in there. And we're going to do three looks using this palette. I'm so excited. I've already kind of got them planned out a little bit. Um, and as I said in my first impressions, I kind of view like these as little quads. So this is like one little quad, like a neutral quad, which is what I use today. Um, this one here in the middle, which I use my first impressions. And then this one on the end. But then like these two rows are, are like little quads. And then these two are little quads. And then this and this could be a quad. This and this could be a quad. Like, do you know what I mean? So I kind of think of them as little quads I don't know why that's just the way my, what my eyes are doing when I look at this palette I'm in love with this palette so far by the way this is absolutely going to be very high up on my ranking I think the shimmers are stunning wait until you see this one like the one I have in my eyeballs right now wait until you see me apply this color it's going to be so beautiful and I'm so excited to get into that green we all know I'm going to have to do them greens next but yeah we're going to do three looks I'm not going to ramble on too much because I know these videos get quite long we're going to do three looks three very different looks hopefully and just see what we can come up with with this palette and give you guys a bit of inspiration if you do already own this palette because I know it's discontinued but I think a lot of you might already have it just before we get into the actual video my Instagram is linked down below where I'll be posting all the pictures of these looks up close eye pictures and full face pictures so you can see all the details all the glitters in action and my tiktok is linked down below as well where i'll be posting some fun transitions probably with this look on as well and some other bits too but yeah i think that is everything for the intro so let's get in and see what we do for look number one okay guys so we're gonna get into look number one with our nocturnal palette from glaminatrix such a beautiful palette one of my favorite color stories of the year hands down I for my first look I'm gonna do everything in like little quads as I said in my first impressions for this look I'm actually gonna start with this side the actually actually the more neutral side but it's kind of mustard browns and then this shadow here like switches from like I'm, I can see like a greeny gold then I can see like a pink and then I can see a copper depending on whatever way I hit it with the light so that's gonna be really cool and I think I'm gonna do a halo eye as well with this just to make it really really grungy really really strong and dramatic and probably do like a neutral grungy kind of lip as well something along those kinds of lines so i've already got my skin on i've got my brows on and i've got my eyeshadow primer on which is all listed down below and then i'll go through the rest of the products towards the end of the video so to start my halo eye i am taking a mac 221s just a skinny little fluffy brush and i'm going to take the shade gloom which is the mid-tone brown here i will probably use a little bit of the black to deepen it up to make it really dark especially along the lower lash line but this does kind of have that greeny brown mustardy kind of tone to it as well as the shade fog which I'm going to use to blend this out but this is going to go on the outer corner first just a little bit at a time and we're going to build that up just going to bring it a little bit into the crease but I don't want it to really go across the whole crease I'm just going to fluff a little bit in then once I've built that up till I'm happy I'm going to pop the same shade on the inner part of the eye and I don't mind my inner corner getting quite grungy like around my tear duct that's absolutely fine because the vibe we're going for it is the time of the year for all of our grungy looks anyway and again bringing this back into the crease now again still leaving a gap in the middle because once i start blending that will fill up i just don't want too much product in there okay so i'm going to work on the lower lash line separately because i'm not going to halo the lower lash line. i'm going to really make that nice and dark and grungy but i'll do that in a second so what we're going to do now is we're going to blend this out and i'm going to take the shade fog which is like that mustardy yellow sort of shade i'm taking that on an ingloss 6 ss is it a 6 ss yes it is 6SS which is their big fluffy brush and this is so mustardy and I love it so we're going to use that now to blend around the edge of this brown and as I'm blending I'm just pulling the product through the crease a little bit just building it up slowly and then I'm also going to take that on the edge in here and start blending that out then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of gloom and we're just going to make sure that our blend is nice and seamless between these two colors just adding a little bit more of that darker brown okay so now I'm going to go back into gloom we're going to work on our lower lash line a little bit and I'm going to take that on a teeny weeny little pointed brush like this guy here I got this on eBay and that's going to go just along the whole way across my lower lash line just connecting to the outer corner so just bringing that all the way in and i'm going thick with it because one i love it when it's like thicker like that on my lower lash line and i also want to blend down quite far so that's the vibe we're going for okay so i'm just going to clean off my skinnier little blending brush that i used for the brown on top first just clean off a little bit i don't really mind if it still has a little bit of that brown on it but i want to take a little bit more of fog which is the yellowy mustard shade to, like that i used to blend out 
but we're going to use that just along the edge of this to blow this out. I'm using this brush as opposed to my bigger fluffy brush because I'm, I want to start the process precise-ish, but I might go in with my big fluffy brush to really blow out the edges. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting enough of this product in first, and then I'll go in and blend out more. Now I will say, if you have blue eyes, this is the look for you. These are the colours. This yellowy mustard shade is the one. Anytime I wear a colour like this, everyone's like, oh, your eyes are so blue. So this is the one you need to get on if you want your eyes to pop. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my 6SS and take a little dab or two of that shade. And we're just going to really take that down. I want this down far. So I want this like quite far down into like my dark circles. If you find it hard to cover your dark circles, this is a great technique because it covers them up for you and just adds more shadow there. And when I say covers up, I mean draws attention away from dark circles. Okay, so now I'm going to take that same 2 to 1 brush and we're going to go back in with Gloom, which is the darker brown. And I just want to re-intensify that. I'm using this brush as well because again, we're quite thick under here. I don't really need to use the small brush anymore to be precise. Just going to go in and make sure that we have enough of that dark brown. Okay, so now we're going to go into Shadow, which is the matte black in here. I don't always use matte black but in this palette I've used it twice so far which is pretty cool I'm taking a dab one dab tap 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 tapping it off this is a little elf eye crease brush but it's a little small stubby pencil brush so we're going to use it for just outer corner work and inner corner work as well so I'm just literally dabbling that in that little pocket right there see where my eye sinks in that bit right there that's really all I'm going to put it I'm not even going to bring it into the crease just want this to start fading into real deep darkness and each time I'm picking up more, I'm picking up a dab. Then again, another little dab, tapping it off. And we're going to pop this on the very inner pocket here. So again, kind of where my eye starts to sink. Just going to with my 2SS now and just whisking over that black just to really blend it out. Then taking my tiny little pencil, not my pencil brush, my little pointed brush and my shade shadow again, the little bit of black. And we're going to go in and pop this along the lashes, along my lower lash line and bring it the whole way across to really deepen it up. And I am going to use a dark liner in my waterline anyway, so that'll add even more smokiness but putting the black here just helps the black if i do use a black or a darker kind of liner look like it's blending out more okay i am feeling my smoky self look at that oh my god that is stunning so now for my shimmer i'm going to use my glitter insurance from Too faced just going to pat that on with my brush just a little little blob and this is a bh cosmetics rose gold number eight brush just like a flat quite dense sort of brush it's not a really precise flat brush, it's more for this kind of thing where you're just kind of popping something on, not for like a cut crazy kind of vibes. So just pressing that on that middle part where I don't have any colour. Okay, then with that same brush, I'm going to take Constellation, which is our gorgeous like duo chrome shade here. When like you first see the palette, it kind of looks like, oh, that's cool. That's like a, a nice kind of neutral shimmer. But then as it moved around, I was like, oh my God, I did not know it was that shifty. And it picks up so well on the brush. The shimmers in this palette are so beautiful. This is going to go onto my lid. Oh, oh, can you see that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Like from like this bit here looks pink and then this bit here looks green. Oh my God. That's so really getting a bit of fall down from it, but that is a okay. If it means my eyeballs are going to look like this. I'm sorry. What? I might even like this better than the blue and the purple that I used in my first impressions. That is beautiful. Okay. This is stunning. So I'm going to take a little bit more gloom on my little 221 again. I'm using this brush a lot in this video. But I just want to take this now and just blend into that shimmer. Just to soften up this edge and make it look nice and smooth. Not worried about the crease part up here because that kind of naturally will blend on its own. Then taking a little bit more. And we're going to do this inner part in here. So I'm going to use my 6SS for my inner corner because I want to be quite diffused. And I might blend a little bit of the mustard in the inner corner as well to grunge it up a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is take my Sol Mon highlighter palette. I'm going to take the shade Lewis, which I think is how you say that. This one up here, or Jewis? Lewis? I'm not sure. This one up here, it's the kind of neutral shimmer because this one I'm going to use as my face highlight. So just picking some of that up there and then we're going to just buff this onto that inner corner. I did clean my brush off before doing this just so I can pop it on without any of the other colors and then I can add it if I want to. I'm gonna pick up a little dab of fog and just very lightly dust that over that inner corner. Okay, just to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of glitter because I love busting out my apocalyptic beauty glitters around this time of year as well. I'm gonna take the one, what is it called? What makes you tick? It's actually got these cool little gears in it but I don't think I'm gonna actually use the gears right now. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see those little gears right there? 
it's quite a steampunky kind of vibe but there's other kind of finer glitters and like chunky kind of hexagons and holographic kind of glitters in there which I'm probably going to use as well but I don't know if I'm going to use the gears I'm not too sure I was thinking about it but I don't know see they're just quite big if there was really small ones I probably would I'm gonna take a little bit of my glitter insurance again I don't really know where I want to put it maybe in here kind of from like where my dark circle would be and then while that's still nice and tacky I'm going to go in with my glitter I'm just going to pick up whatever kind of picks up onto the brush just kind of like that like right in on my tear duct quite like that the best way to apply these as well is literally just pick them up and place them down try not to be too fiddly with them because they get a little they start overthinking it and it gets a bit much then also i will say that these glitters are not eye safe they should not be used this closely i just pre-warning you guys i'm willing to take the risk and when i do take my makeup off i'm very careful when i'm taking the glitter off take that off first before i do anything else i've said this loads of times but just so you know it's not eye safe i don't recommend using it this closely i if you want to like put it on your cheek or something like that that's fine but it's technically not eye safe. Okay, so that is the look done pretty much. I'm gonna finish off the eyes, do my cheeks, do a lip. I need to curl my hair, I think. Am I gonna curl my hair? I think I might curl my hair. And I'll come back and let you know what I use on the rest of my face. Okay guys, so this is how I have finished off the look. I am in love with this look. I didn't curl my hair, by the way, because I'm gonna go into bed soon and it would, would have just been a lot of effort for just like a few minutes of footage and like my pictures and stuff like that and my hair actually kind of looks quite nice like this just waves so I just left it like this but we're gonna go through everything that I used on my face right now so to finish the eyes off super simple I just went in with my Colourpop cream gel liners or twist up liners in the shade swerve which is just the black I just popped that on my waterline tight lined a little bit with it as well then I went in with my soap and glory thick and fast mascara on my top and my bottom lashes and then for my lashes these are the crystal nights solstice lashes my box is kind of broken so I don't want to keep taking it in now because the lashes are going to get damaged if I do but they're solstice they're a little bit spiky but very wispy like right on the ends and everything like that they really like wisp out and I really like them I thought they'd be really nice to give a bit of shape to the eye onto cheeks then I went in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer this is the shade in the sun my favorite bronzer probably my whole collection I haven't worn it in a little while but I remember now why I love it so much then for my blush I went in with my Benefit Rockateur blush this one right here and um, you can buy these all I say this every time you can buy these all individually this is just one of their cheek parade kind of uh, sets their blush sets but you can buy each and every single one of these separately. So Rockateur is what I used. And then for highlight, I actually changed my mind. So I didn't use the one from the Salmon palette. Instead, I actually used this one here, which is from KVD Beauty. This is the Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter in Gold School. I think it was one of the anniversary ones. It's just this like white color, but it reflects gold. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but you can kind of see here. I just thought the other highlight was quite neutral, almost lean and a little bit too silvery. And I wanted gold. So that's why I went with this instead. I still like left the inner corner as is because it's absolutely perfect. But just on the cheeks, I wanted it to be a bit more gold. Then on slips, I did a little bit of a combo. I don't know if you're going to really notice too much of a combo, but I can kind of notice it, especially in real life. And I think in the photos, it'll show up as well. So I went in with my Melt Liquid Set Lipstick in the shade Earthling, which is like a grey brown, kind of a neutral, cool tone, stony kind of colour. Pop that on all over. And I was like, okay, that's lovely. That'll work. But it's a little bit kind of grey. I want a little bit more warmth in it. So I popped this on top while it was still wet. I did a little bit of cider from Black Moon Cosmetics, which is a really mustardy gold. It actually goes perfectly with the colours in this look, which you could do this on its own as well. But I just want a little bit more depth to the lip. So I did a little combo to mix them around a little bit on my lips. And this is the colour we came out with. So that is everything that I used on my face. I'm in love with this look. I'm really liking this. I also love my earrings, by the way. These are from Claire's, but they're so piratey. And also my necklace matches too. Got the whole set. Um, just from Claire's. I usually buy my accessories from Claire's because it's cheap. So <laughs> that is my first look using the Glaminatrix Nocturnal palette. Well, my second technical look, but my first look of this video. I am so excited to get into more looks with this. I cannot wait to do another quad. So we've done the middle already. We've done this one and I might do these ones next and then I'll pick another one out from the other colors. You don't have to do it in the quads, but I just think it works out quite well that way. But yeah, let's get in to look number two. Okay, so we're gonna get into look number two using our beautiful Nocturnal palette from Glaminatrix. Oh my god, we are going to get into to a bit of a weird 
combination with something that I'm kind of feeling. I don't know why, but we're going to do these four on the end here. Mostly these two on the lid and like crease and everything. And I might use the black or even this blue here to deepen it up a little bit. Um, and then the green on the lower lash. So something fun, a little bit of fun with that. I've already got my skin on, my brows on, my eyeshadow primer on. And I've got my cream bronzer on, which is all listed down below. And I'll let you know what I use on the rest of my face towards the end. So to start, we're going to take the beautiful kind of periwinkle sort of shade. This is Obscurity and I'm very excited to get into this colour. I'm in a bit of a periwinkle moment at the minute and I'm taking this on a Cash Beauty K08 brush which is just a small blending brush and we're just gonna pop this on the outer corner. Oh that is bright, look at that, wow. So once I've got that on the outer corner I'm just gonna slowly start building that through the crease. So once you have that generally applied where I want it to be I'm gonna take a K06 brush which is just a big fluffy brush from that set and we're just going to blend out all of our edges. Just go nice and slowly, blend it out and add more of the blue back in if you need to. So just start in the blend and then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more of the blue just to keep it going. I always like to add more of the colour that I'm blending out just to make sure the gradient is nice and even. I'm not just like blending away an area, I'm still keeping the impact of the colour there with a nice soft edge. Okay, so we're going to move on and I think, do I want to do my lower lash? We're going to do half of the lower lash, the same way we've done half of the upper lid. Um, I mean the crease, but you know what I mean. Um, I want to do all my mattes first, basically. I want to see how much I want to get done without using the black. And then if I want to use the black, I'll add that in. Because I actually think I might just leave it like this on top. I don't know if I really want to add the black in. I like the vibrancy of this colour. So for the lower lash, we're going to go into murky. Probably the shade, the matte in the palette anyway, that I've been most excited about. I loved this blue, by the way. But this shade right here is the one this is the one. So I'm taking that on, what is this, a shading brush from Real Techniques and we're just going to make this nice and thick along the lower lash and just have it meet that outer corner. They don't need to blend into each other or anything like that. I may do a winged liner, I'm not sure, see how I feel, but I'm just building and building and getting the colour intensity the way I want it and then just bring that down as far as you want and I want it down quite far. So now I'm actually going to go in with the shimmers because again I don't actually know if I want to use the black. I kind of like how vibrant these colours are so I don't want to dull it down with any of the black. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my NYX glitter primer. We're very much nearly at the end. And I'm taking this on a Beauty Bay BB207 brush. So just their flat brush. It's not like the skinniest flattest brush ever. And I don't really care about doing like a big cut crease around like that with this. I just kind of want to throw a little bit of this onto the lid just to get a base down for the shimmers and as I've said in all my videos and all the looks even the first look and the first impressions with this palette I use the glitter primer with all my shimmers because it just makes it go on better I just like how it looks okay so now that I've got my glitter primer on we're going to take Milky Way which is pale kind of peachy pink that kind of reflects into a teal blue which I think will go really nice this because using blue and green in this look and I just think this will go quite nice. It seems to me like from what I've used it for, yeah, it's a little bit more of like a topper duochrome shade, multi-chrome probably. Um, but my base, my eyeshadow primer that I put on before this actually kind of has a bit of pigment to it. So I think it should be okay. But when it is such a light colour, it just means you're going to have to build it a little bit more, add a little bit more of a layer, but you're going to get the most beautiful shimmer off it. How gorgeous and wet looking is that? I'm going to take a little bit more of my finger just to make sure that I got it all covered. Then take just a little bit more of Obscurity, the Periwinkle, and just dabble that on the outer corner just to make sure that they blend into each other nicely. I don't know why, but this kind of gives me like a paranormal kind of vibe. Don't really know why but I'm really liking it. Okay, so I just want to take a tiny bit more of my glitter primer. I'm just going to take it on my baby finger. Like, like you can't even see it. Tiny little bit. I'm just going to pop this on the inner third of my lower lash. Just a tiny little dabble of it. Because I want to add that green shimmer in there. So now I'm going to take Night Vision, which is this green that kind of shifts. What way does it shift? Kind of like into a purple. There's a bit of a gold. There's a little bit of like a browniness to it kind of excited about this one and I'm just going to take that on this inner part just over that glitter primer just add like an extra bit of shine a little bit of dimension so it's just this super cool little flash of green on the inner part brought it down a little bit far as well kind of more towards the tear duct but I'm really liking this okay I really don't think I'm going to darken this I really don't I think once I put like my mascara lashes all that kind of stuff I'll decide about like my waterline and my liner and everything like that but I'm really liking it this is 
looking and I don't know why I don't know what it is about these colors together I think they're really fun so we're gonna take Milky Way again and that is gonna go on my inner corner as my little tear duct highlight not too much because I don't want to take away from the green more so just following on from the lid it's a simple enough look it's gonna look it's, it's a trust a process kind of look it's gonna look much better once I have it all done so I'm gonna jump off I'm going to finish off my face and I will let you know what I used on the rest of my face okay guys so this is how I finish off the look I'm so happy with this this is like like a paranormal eye I don't know why I'm getting paranormal vibes off this but then also kind of neutral it's a little bit glam it's a little bit fun a little bit springy for Halloween though so let me go through everything that I did use on my face so for my liner on my waterline I just went in with my LA splash LA girl shockwave neon eyeliner in the shade gotcha which is just a bright green matches more so the shimmery green more than the actual like matte green that I use but I just think it went really well then I went in with my thick and fast mascara from soap and glory my lashes then are the bh cosmetics n105 lashes that's the box off them there they're just really nice a little bit kind of spiky not like the longest in the world but they're pretty long more dense in the root I really like them and then I'll get a little bit up close here so you can see so can you see the sparkles that I used on the eye I kind of mixed two together so while I'm up close I'll just show you which ones I used so I did the bats from apocalyptic beauty vampire rave which are these ones here they kind of have a nice kind of neon and black kind of colors in them so I used the green from that and then the rest all the kind of iridescent ones the little stars all those kinds of bits they are all just from the candy gore from apocalyptic beauty as well which just like lots of colored stars and just a fun confetti but a little bit dark as well so that's the eyes and then on to cheeks my bronzer which I had on at the beginning is my Charlotte Tilbury what are you called again it's a really long name beautiful skin sun-kissed glow bronzer in the shade number one fair which is this guy here I just really like this bronzer I really like how it applies I just I like it I didn't want to like it because it's expensive but I do like it my blush then is my MAC extra dimension blush in the shade room to bloom which is like a soft shimmery rosy pink just onto the cheeks and then my highlighter is the Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in the shade opal glow just gives a nice kind of pink glow I wanted to try and like emulate the pinky tone that's on the lid that's what we were going for and then lip I was like mm, do I go dark do I go weird I was gonna do grey I was gonna do something else but then I decided no let's do neutral but still colour you know what I mean like it's still there it's not like pale neutral or anything like that or pinky neutral a little bit brown it's a little bit warm a little bit autumnal so this is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Times Square pop that on all over one of my favourite colours I haven't worn it in ages but I need to wear it more also I do want to add in because I'm very happy with all my accessories and clothes that I have on me right now these earrings are from Claire's they're like little little skull fellas and they're so cute I only got them there recently so they should still have them in Claire's if you have a Claire's near you this necklace I think I got in Claire's as well but like a couple of years ago I have this like little placey thing it's actually like shorts as well little spoiler alert though I do have it on over my jammies <laughs> that's how you film and then my hoodie is like this bright orange hoodie that says happy Halloween but the reason I bought it was for those three on the back which are the three masks from Halloween three season of the witch so yeah this is our look i'm in love with this it's weird i really don't know why i get paranormal vibes off i just think it's the the kind of shimmer over that bluey periwinkle sort of tone i really like um i'm very happy i added the glitters as well because it makes a little bit more halloween vibe to it but i'm so happy i'm using this palette i'm just very excited so i think for my next one we're going to do this little quad here so these two and these two the kind of murky like yellowy tones and the bluey denim sort of tones I think that's what we're going to do for our third look so speaking of our third look let's see what look number three has to offer okay on to look number three I'm very excited about this and I've got a little plan in mind of a shape that I don't always do so we're going to go in with these four here so our kind of mustardy tones and the gold I might use a bit of this dark brown as well and also the kind of bluey tones as well just for a bit of contrast bit of weird kind of love that combination so my skin is on my brows are on and my eyeshadow primer is on it's all listed down below if you want to see what I used for that so I'm going to start this in a bit of a weird way just go along with me here I'm actually going to do my lower lash line first because I want to get the angle that I want right so we're going to take the shade nightfall which is that beautiful denim blue and I'm taking that on a beauty bay 208 brush just a flat little brush like this just to kind of get us a nice 
shape going on the lower lash and just going to start applying that to my lower lash i do want this to be thick enough not too worried about like blending and all that kind of stuff just yet i want mostly just want my angle done even if i just do this bit i'll be happy so once i have my line going here what i'm going to do is take a little bit more on that same brush we're just going to keep going just as if your lower lash is continuing on so on that same sort of angle upwards mine goes up anyway some people's go more out if that's the case, then go more out. And just have it taper off as it starts to go out. Okay, so I'll come back and blend that out as I want to. I just wanted this to kind of map out the rest of the eye. So now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of gloom, which is the kind of medium brown. Well, it's the dark brown in the palette, but it's a medium brown. This is just a V Cosmetics, like skinny little blending brush. I got it in a mystery box, like a Halloween mystery box a few years ago. So this is going to go kind of next to that line, but we're going to do like all our crease work now. But I'm only going to bring it in a third of the way. I do not want to bring this in all the way because I'm going to do blue in here as well. It, it's complicated, but not as complicated once you see what I'm actually talking about. It's just I'm trying to map this all out. You can obviously use a smaller brush if you want to, to get a little bit more nitty gritty with it all. And I'm going to wing this out a little bit as well. So I'm literally just going to pop that on as that is. And then I will blend that out with the mustard in a minute but I want to map out the other part of the eye. So taking that same brush that we used for the lower lash line, just because it's a nice size for mapping this part out, I'm going to take Nightfall again, which is the denim blue. And I have my mirror right in front of me here with my eye open so I can see it above my crease. I'm just going to follow right above my lid here. So I'm not doing it like this. You can if you want to, but I'm not because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm following this angle. So it's going to go across like that, like straight across the eye not into the crease or anything like that and this is going to be a trust the process look trust me so once i have it mapped out i'm just building that up so just we'll have a nice solid line and again just tapering it off as we go but as i said it's a weird kind of angle weird kind of look now we're going to go back in with a little bit more gloom on that same fluffy brush i was using before and i can see here now that i have a little bit of a gap that i want to fill in so i'll just do that see the reason why i'm going in with so much mapping of this as opposed to just kind of going with that and doing cut crease and all that kind of stuff is because there's a lot of like orangey sort of tone in this brown like a yellow orange and it can make a bit of a green brown sort of color which i don't want i want it to kind of stay quite solid in each color so that's why i'm kind of going in between steps and coming back to them i'm also gonna take a little bit of that dark brown and pop that on to the lid okay so the first thing i want to do is the easy blend well it's not actually that easy because I'm in, I'm a bit constricted with this space that I'm using here. We're going to take Fog and I'm going to take a 6SS from Ingla, the brush. And we're just going to use that to blend out the edge of this brown. It won't take long to blend as I have proven in my first look of this video using these two colours together already. So just something like that where it's a little bit past this blue down here because I might still extend the blue as I'm blending but just so it meets out towards the end of the eyebrow. And as always, you can customize these looks like whatever way you want to like skip this bit and just do that lower lash line bit or do it as like a halo eye if you want to do that, would be pretty cool too. Okay, so now I'm not worried about like this bit in here, like close to the lid because I'm probably going to use a glitter primer, do a bit of a cut creasy action and go in with shimmers and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go back in with Nightfall, back again. And um, we're taking this on a Makeup Geek Defined Crease Brush, which is just a small little brush like that. Just taking a dab at a time. And I'm using this smaller brush just to be a bit more precise on the edge in here. Just going to go in and start blending out this top edge. So all of this space up here. And same up here. I'm only blending up this top line up here. And then we're going to do the same on the lower lash line. So blending the edge downwards. So we're leaving this line here absolutely as it is. Just blending downwards with that same brush and the same colour. Just building that up and fluffing it out okay so on to the lid we're going to go in with good old mr nick's glitter primer and i'm going to take that on a cash beauty k09 brush which is just a flat super flat brush and i'm going to kind of carve out a half cut crease here it's mostly going to be the gold shimmer and i'm going to do a little bit of the bluey purpley kind of shimmer just for a bit of contrast so just taking some on my brush and we're just going to pop it on the lid first just get a nice even coating and then i'm going to go in and start Putting a bit of pressure down okay so first shimmer i'm going to go in with luna which is this blue to kind of purple sort of shade just taking this on an elf concealer brush just something flat and a little bit pointed as well because i kind of only really want a little line of this just for a little bit of weird as though this isn't already weird so just however thick it applied onto the brush is how thick i'm applying it so just on the very like tip and i'll just give this gorgeous like blue to purple sort of shift and the purple 
like contrast great with this yellowy brown okay and then for the rest of the lid i'm going to go in with constellation which is gold to kind of bronze to green to pink beautiful multi-chrome i'm taking that on that cash beauty brush i used for the cut crease and the glitter primer just picking some of that up and that is going to go on to the rest of the lid this is one of these looks where i just had this idea in my head with these colors and i'm just trying to get there in the end okay as it gets into the shimmer in here i don't really mind them blending like exactly perfectly together i don't mind it not being like a huge gradient i kind of don't like i kind of like the little separation between them but what i am going to do is take my v cosmetics brush again take a little bit more gloom which is the darker brown and just double that on this outer corner here okay so for my inner corner highlight it's just going to be my face highlight whatever i use on my face my kaleidos ray rider i think is what i've chosen um my waterline i'm going to use like a dark blue pencil but i don't know if i want to do black on my on my lower lash line I might do my liner on my waterline and then see if I can smudge that down a little bit. And if not, I'll add a little bit of shadow, which is the matte black on the palette. But so far, this is basically the finished look. I'm going to add a few extra bits and I'll show you what I do as I do them. Okay, I'm back just before I finish off the eyes and everything like that. I'm going to do my inner corner with you guys, but I just want to show you what I did. It's so pretty. I did these little kind of golden dots to kind of match the shimmer on the lid just along where the blue is for a bit of contrast in the same angle. So getting a bigger dot to a smaller dot and the same up here as well, just to give us a nice kind of, I don't know, I just, I thought it was pretty cool. Very cute. So this is with the MAC Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Pure Show. Is it Pure Show? Yes, Pure Show, which is the gold. Super, super sparkly really nice gold liner i forgot i had this until i was actually pulling out products for this look and i remembered i had it okay so for my inner corner highlight just something really simple i'm going to go in with my kaleido space age highlighter in ray rider which is what i'm going to use on my skin which is a nice kind of champagne -y sort of color I'm taking that on a little flat brush this one's from sleek oh, there's no name on it just got it in an advent calendar and that's just going to go in the inner corner just to brighten that up a little bit i also did add my liner my waterline so i'm going to see what it looks like with mascara and then if I do add black, I'll let you know. Okay, so one of the more complicated looks that I've done, in a long time anyway, I, it's because I had time, I'm filming in the evening after work. So yeah, I really, really like this. So I'm gonna jump off, I'm gonna finish off my face and I'll let you know what I use on the rest of my face this time. Okay guys, so this is our finished look. I'm so happy with how this right now. I'm happy I did a bit of a weird, bit more complicated kind of look instead of just doing my normals. All my normal kind of looks that I usually do. I do love them still, as don't get me wrong, but I felt like this just weird kind of shape going on on the eye so to finish off the face on my eyes i use my urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in the shade lsd which matches that kind of denim blue quite well but it's also got purple sparkle which also matches the sparkle on top as well my mascara then is my soap and glory thick and fast mascara as i have been using for the past while and then my lashes are the bh cosmetic 3d lashes these are what number are you 3d 560 so they're very wingy i wanted really long on the outside to really pull the eye out like that to keep that shape going as well onto cheeks then i went in with my nabla skin bronzing powder in the shade whoops ambra which is just a nice kind of golden tone again we were very golden on the rest of the face so i wanted to keep that going my blush then i just went quite neutral and i went in with an old reliable this is warm soul from mac it's one of their mineralized blushes such a stunning color for most people can get away with it. And then as I said, I was gonna use, I went in with my Ray Rider highlighter from Kaleidos, just on my cheeks, and it makes me look super shiny and wet looking. And then onto lips, I knew I needed this lip. I needed to bust this lip out. And I think it's the first time I've actually worn it fully, like just this as the lip, well, I've got a liner on as well, but just this as the color, like without mixing anything, cause I've always been a little bit like, I'll put it on like, oh, I'm not sure, but this is the look for it. This is the one, anything kind of dark, grungy, a bit weird suits this kind of lip so for the lip combo i went in with the steve laurent lip pencil in the shade uptown which is like kind of like a warmer brown i didn't really have this kind of brown so i just use any sort of brown just to line the lip and fill it in a little bit it also warms it up slightly as well and then for my lipstick i went in with my black moon cosmetics cider liquid lipstick i'm so happy i have this I want to wear it all the time now. So that is our three looks, one palette, using the gorgeous and glorious Nocturnal palette from Glaminatrix. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. It's definitely going to be very much at the top of my list. Maybe not, I don't know about number one. We'll have to see if anything beats it out. But it's definitely in the top five for the end of year 100% like it could be number one who knows you'll all have to wait and see but I'm really liking this I cannot believe I'm already done my three looks and my first impressions of this I'm flabbergasted I also can't believe it's spooky season never mind any of that but yeah this is just such 
a me kind of color story it's dirty now because it's gotten well used over the last few days um oh i love her oh she's so pretty i'm gonna use this so much i'm loving how dark it'll go i think all these colors i'll definitely get a lot of use out of um and if you want to see i know it's been designated but if you want to see any more looks i can do more looks in the future let me know and yeah i'm excited to do more things with this palette i think it's so fun it's also my first like like pre-made curated palette from Glaminatrix. I've only got their single shadows, which is always very exciting. So I love that palette. Let me know if you love the palette as well. Do you have the palette at home? Have these looks given you a little bit of inspo, especially around this spooky autumnal kind of year? I want to know that all down below. What you think of the palette, what you think of this look and which look out of the three in this video and the one first impressions is your favorite. I wanna know what your favorite look is I've done with this palette of them all. I don't know what my favorite one is really liking this one see i love these mustardy browns so i do also like look number one as well but then i got serious dark deep mermaid vibes from the the first impressions look and then the paranormal look i did just before this i don't know i don't know at the minute this this is what i'm picking right now because this is what i have on and i'm feeling this right now if you did like this video give me a big thumbs up down below it's the quickest simplest and easiest way to give me a little bit of support get me around to more people and also let me know that you like the video and i will continue to do many more also don't forget to subscribe down below to see many more videos coming up we've got so much happening in spooky season i'm hoping to be able to get it all up for you guys on time because i'm that didn't happen last year, but this year is the year we're going to do it. I did it before, but we're going to do it again this year. I hope. I do work full time. So bear that in mind. And as I said in the beginning, my Instagram is linked down below where I'll be posting all of these fun, spooky... Th these aren't really spooky looks, but I think they kind of go with this time of year. That's why I like to do these kinds of things. Real kind of weird grungy sort of style something that you might not wear every day something you could maybe add to a look but yeah all the pictures will be up on my instagram full face pictures up close eye pictures and my tiktok is down below where i post all my fun tiktoks to go with each look so i will see you in the next video guys bye